I'm Jeff Altman, the Big Game Hunter, the head coach for Job Search Coaching HQ.com and NoBSCoachingAdvice.com. And welcome to another episode of Job Search Radio. On each show, I'd like to spend a few minutes talking with you about some element of job search. Because to me, it doesn't have to be quite as hard, difficult, painful, or take as long as it does. It's just the skills needed to find a job are different than those needed to do a job. And here on today's show, I'm going to tackle a question that someone asked me. Is it wrong to get a job through my parents' connections? Hope you find my answer helpful. Hope you give this show five stars on iTunes or Stitcher. It does help other people find the show. And now let me dive into the answer. What is a parent's connection anyway? It's not like the person's going to hire you sight unseen. Your parents are going to provide an introduction to someone who is in the position where they can, they can influence a hire or evaluate you for a job. You are going to be evaluated for the job. You're going to be introduced. How is that different than networking anyway? Your parents are part of your network. That's the reality to it. And they have resources that you may want to capitalize or not, depending upon your family. Like I know my dad, uh, when he was alive, he had a small business in New York. There was no one he could introduce me to who would help me find a job. You would have that advantage. You would have a person in your life who can provide such an introduction. How is that different than any other form of networking, right? Think about it. How is it any different? So I would say very simply, don't hesitate because you're still going to have to be interviewed. It's not like, and, and there is one exception. And the exception is in a situation where you're in money management. There, if they're providing you with an, your parents are providing you with an introduction to a firm, to, in order that you be the person who manages their money. That's a more complicated scenario. The firm is basically hiring you to get their money. That's up to you as to whether or not you're, you're comfortable with that. But I know people around the world who've been in that kind of situation have no hesitation to be in that situation. Lord knows, uh, when I was meeting people years ago in banking, uh, I met some very wealthy people who basically had been hired by banks to do exactly that. But that's the one place you may find it uncomfortable and may want to carve out your own path. Other than that, treat your parents' friends, treat their professional relationships as extended parts of your network. Go out there and take the interviews. It's a network, right? It's just because you didn't create the network doesn't mean that you can't take advantage of it. So I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, there are a couple of ways where I can help you beyond simply watching this show. And that is, starts off with the fact that if you'd like me to help you, I no longer do recruiting. I'm a coach that helps people operate at an elite level. So Reach out to me through coaching through for coaching through my website, which is thebiggamehunter.us. You'll see tabs along the top that will reference the different services I offer. Choose the one that you think makes the most sense. Make payment. We'll schedule a time to speak and begin the process altogether. And if you'd like me to critique your resume, LinkedIn profile, help you with interview preparation, that's all part of the services that I'm offering salary negotiation, a whole, whole bunch of elements to job search that I can help with. If you'd like me to answer a question on the show, email me at jobsearchradio at gmail.com. Don't tell me a whole int intricate story. Notice how brief this question was. That's how I'll answer it. If you want me to help you through your search, that's what coaching is all about. I'm not going to do an entire coaching session on one of these shows. So, Again, a quick question. I'll answer it on the show if I don't have too many in the queue. I may not get to it right away. I'll get to it as soon as I can. So I'll be back tomorrow with soon, with more soon. Let's try that again. I'll be back soon with more. And in the meantime, hope you have a great day. Take care.